Alright everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Remake as we are going to continue on Chapter 9. I noticed a uh, certain someone's kind of wandering around these streets and I'm going to go investigate real quickly. I believe you have something I want. the same disc twice. Uh, excuse me, sir. If you like, you can have it. Well, oh, thank you. If you love the artist, you don't need more than one copy. Can't argue with that. Oh. All right. Let's see. How do I get down here, though? Oh, well, looky here. Oh, to enter or not to enter, that is the question. Wherefore does this philosophical quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? <laughs> I knew it! Let me guess, after you've had your fun, you fall into a spiral of shame and self-loathing. But it only lasts a moment, doesn't it? Next thing you know, you're right back here again. Huh? Got a question for me? Seen Tifa around? Tifa, my love, my light? Who are you and how do you know her? No, shut up. I don't care. Keep us here? Why? Tell me why! Oh god, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She kept looking for me to beg me not to leave her. You god. Snap out of it, Josh. Kidding Your me. Tifa needs you. Tifa, I'm coming, baby! Who was that? Nobody you want or need to know. Oh boy. My apologies, sir. We are not ready to open at this time. Oh. Well, I guess since we found Johnny, I guess we might as well go try and see what we can do about the uh, mm. mansion. Hey, you hear about that real narrow street just over there? You're not still wasting your gills at the Honeybee Inn, are you? <laughs> you bet I am. Found me a secret route in one nobody don't know about. Only trouble is it's filled with drunks and garbage. Only a select few even know. Interesting. Are you sure about this man? Come on. Mm. Give it to me, please. Come back in your Give it to me, please. Ooh, I found an orb. Of barrier materia. Uh, that sense. I can't stand it. You'll make it. It's just gonna hit you really hard in the morning, dude. I want to know what you guys are doing. You have to give it to me. Cornelio has no understanding of the trio. You know how much power he's got. Let the rest run. You can believe it. Oh boy. Let's see what kind of adventures I'm going to get myself into this time around. looking place you got I think we might have found our man and he's a body one yeah well howdy y'all not so fast buddy back it up Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Wall Market. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the dung's front door. Especially men. How about me then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on. Can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud? 
Requesting permission to kill. Denied. If you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Well. I guess uh, this should be loads of fun. So let's go find this eccentric trio and see what the uh, fuss is about with them. What? Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas. Not really. So that's the way it is. Mm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay. Oh, we'll take a look, see what we got over here at the weapon shop. Welcome what do you to the market's premier weapon shop. Let's look at the studded bracer for Barrett. Get myself a hard edge. Hmm. Do come again. If I do, spot out of it, but... Yeah, that should do. 
Perfect. Okay. Now let's get back to. Let's go take a look at the first member of the trio. Thank you. I signed with Shinya Records a while back, but I'm still looking for my first big hit. It's been seven years now. Not easy, but you gotta do what you love. And I love to sing. This is a new song of mine. Maybe it'll be that number one. Yeah, maybe. Work. Alright, this is weird. So this must be coming from behind the store. Yeah, definitely from behind this door. So I guess, uh, how do I get over there, though, is the real... Oh, okay, all right. Chocobo bean pop! Found it! Man, I'm getting quite a few tracks. Nice. Alright, so now that that's over. Here we are. Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time we'll be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Cornell will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. <clears throat> then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. Great. So, I'm sure, a lot of people probably pick heads. So I'm gonna go with tails. Tails. Heads. You lose. I think. I think this is like one of those either way you're gonna lose sort of deal. Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio and not just a Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Told ya. I had a hunch. That's cheating. And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. All right, all right. Well, he's done. What a dick, though. He would use a trick coin. Get out of my way. You got things to do. Hey there. Are you looking for anything in particular today? I'm looking for everything. 
I don't need that right now. I was say hard right. Oh, sorry, Chadley. My bad. Close right now. Why don't we try looking for another one of the trio? Well, it's like I've got a brand new body. That was the best thing that's ever been What See the sign hell up are you doing? All I got is materia. Particularly Thanks, none that I want. Let me handle this. You wait out here, okay? Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Excuse me. She also has a point. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Hey, are you nervous too? Oh my god! Well, what's me in a pickle? Fuss about. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> And what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of <laughs> Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. 
Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter. Yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? Well, might as well just go big or go home, I guess. <laughs> Then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Cloud? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't. This is really this happening right now. <laughs> Get that <laughs> I mean, this is just great. Oh, no, don't fight it. <laughs> but still, I just can't believe this is happening right now. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> To your liking, do come again. Right. So <sighs> dumbfounded over the hands. How was it? Huh? You okay? Yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am. Sure really are. Weird. <laughs> Think you'll make a habit of it? All right then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. Well... You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. <laughs> and why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But, you cannot go dressed like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate for in such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just <laughs> take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. 
It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. Well, if you insist, I shall do such task. All right. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence. Just don't get too cocky, okay? Cocky. Look at me. Oh. I believe you're the one I need to talk to about this. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. Thank you. Down, down, down we go. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. <laughs> nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. Hey, lovebirds, over here! In the city that never sleeps, in the paradise of debauchery and sin, the pain and pleasure. Every desire can be indulged for the right price. All money to you is Team Connoisseur of the Chaos and Bloodshed. We bid you the warmest of welcomes. Are you sitting comfortably? Or tonight, the most gruesome spectacle anywhere in Walmart and beyond shall be yours to witness here in the Corneo Coliseum. Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gil. There is only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents. Utterly and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they vomit life. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall blame the skill and the glory. And now, the long awaited event in which the Blood Star Feast will battle for your amusement in the corner! Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes! And tonight, Corneo Time! This place is really something. Alright. So, yeah. I'm just gonna... Rest up real quickly. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know? So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but you can make a run for it. You should. 
Cloud and Aaron, your match will begin shortly. Well, too late for Please that. Please make your way to the gate. Very well. Like I would anyways. Silly head. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next best, we welcome two fighters. A young couple, no less. Talking about a bad day? Well, this is their first tournament. The bad first date. And most likely their last. Inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! <laughs> Man, these guys are tough. It's a tough crowd here today. Okay. Now I'm mad. What if Walmart gets owned? A renowned master of beats. Will his pet make a meal of our two challengers? The fun of their eyes. They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon dogs of hell. The sanguine stalker. don't make sense yeah true but maybe it'll be better in the next match nah wouldn't bet on it better to expect the worst and with that being uh, said it's not your turn yet your names will be announced over the speaker just wait until then whatever dude well that was some bullshit Guess I better start looking for a new job. Yeah, you probably should. Cloud and Aaron, your match will begin shortly. That's what they call beginner's luck. Please make but the next match the won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. So big then. Thieves and killers through and through. Two criminal for common criminals. The worst of the worst. Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets because they may have already robbed you blind. The most contemptible son of bitches is not a war market. Bats! Bats! <laughs> what 
does just dessert taste like? Great. Like justice! Like baby! And who are these unscrupulous looking gentlemen? It would seem that there are actually eight members of Beck's badasses. Hey, that's cheating! The only rule here is that there are no rules! Yeah! If Corneo says it's okay, you gotta suck yeah. it up! Yeah. This could be a real bloodbath. So I implore you, ladies and gentlemen, don't look away, or you may miss the best part. The second match of the Corneo Cup semifinals. Begin. Alright. Come here, bitches. Time to get yourself. Think you're all that? Eight fat asses? More like you ain't shit! One down, one to go. Here, how about I be a dick? Give you one for the boys. Shithead. It was two against, uh, I don't remember how many exactly, but a lot! But somehow the winners of our match are... Once again, Cloud and Aaron! Yeah! Alright. That kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. So is half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> You gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Confidence on high. Might as well do a quick rest. Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Alright. Here we go. Please make your way to the gate. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? Ready as I'll ever be. Money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go. <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the flight! Yeah! Come on! 
Once more, the sweethearts who surprised us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud and Eric! Let's do this! Yeah! Come on now! Come on! You can do better than that! And now, five time winners of the Cordeo Cup! Murder Machine, the captain is killed to the name! Along with a handful of maimings! The deadly duo that takes up the trash with a bum vengeance! The Electric Executioners, Chocobo Sam's champions! Cutty and Sweepy! Come on! Uh -huh. Robots? More like Shinra armor. More like cheating. Oh, these guys are nothing. Who will walk away with the one million bill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history. The final match of the Cordeo Cup begins now. Allow me. I figured as much. Oh. You guys are really brilling out all the shots of this one, aren't you? There we go. <laughs> and the winners of the Corneo Cup, the deadly and dynamic duo, Cloud and Aaron. I did it. I did it. I did it. My Yay. condolences. Oh, you're taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on a toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. Later. And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People are placing hefty bets. Much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? They're of choice. And only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal. Don't you think I know that? Ah! You greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit-festering asshole! Uh, tell us how you really feel. But that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Fine. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? It's yep. not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got.
Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one Don Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order. <laughs> Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far, Klaus and Eric! Set free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Corneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hell House! Interesting. It's just a house. That's no ordinary house. The manifestation of pure evil versus the most badass couple this side of Midgar. Have you ever seen a fight more incredible, more epic? You have not! No, sir, you have not! They'll be singing songs about tonight for generations to come! Keep your eyes glued to the action, ladies and gentlemen! The Cup's final, final battle begins now! Well... Oh, the battle is done! And already I can tell you this first match will not get the point! Rest! This football has not been touched on the top! The meanest of the knee! What can they have? Ice. Alright, ice. Ice. Good, 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 good. Ice. Woo! 
that frosty snare could strike a man dead where he stands. Maybe I'll be the lucky victim. Ah. Now's our chance. Let me teach him a lesson. I'm waiting. It's your turn now. This one's for you. Keep it together. I'll show you what I can do. Taking over. I'm coming. Well then. I really don't want to do this on an arm. Okay. 
Showing an interest in someone. 
What will you do? That was surely annoying and definitely took a lot longer than expected. There you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. Hmm. Well, that's interesting, and as interesting as that is, I think I'm going to stop on this second part of Chapter 9. Boy, am I going to have some editing to do. Oh, but that's okay, though. It's all part of the plan, it's all part of the game, it's all part of the fun. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, we will continue on to Chapter 9 on the next video. But until then, you guys take care of yourselves, stay safe, and stay positive. This is TPA Big Red. Signing off.